A College Hill man might still be alive tonight if not for what the city manager is calling a serious neglect of duty. As David Winter reports, the incident again focuses negative attention on the city's 911 operation. In a letter to city council, city manager Patrick Duhaney called an incident on January 12th nothing short of a tragedy. The 911 call came into the city's emergency communications center with the caller telling the operator that a man in an apartment near his is getting worse and worse, that the call is an emergency, and that he has had a stroke and has another one coming. He's going to die. Duhaney's letter states the 911 operator responded by trying to direct the caller to the patient and saying, we cannot force ourselves on him and if he does not want help, emergency responders won't do anything. He has to want to be helped. The call was coming from an apartment building on Grosbeck Road. The 911 operator closed the call without sending paramedics. The man died. This is the fire station from where the paramedics likely would have been sent. It's fire station 51 on Hamilton, right at the top of Grosbeck Road. But of course, that dispatch never came through. Maddening, frustrating, this report, not enough. The incident comes less than two years after the parents of Kyle Plush pleaded with city council to improve the emergency communications center following the death of their son. An investigation found operators allegedly did not give clear and urgent direction to first responders. Changes were made, but the operators were cleared of wrongdoing. This time, the city manager blames the 911 operator, quoting emergency medical dispatcher training that states, stroke must receive an immediate response that is not subject to delay. He says the operator violated multiple processes and procedures and has been suspended with pay pending an investigation, calling the action or inaction a serious neglect of duty. In College Hill, David Winter, Local 12 News. And the city manager's letter doesn't directly blame the man's death on the operator's actions, but it does say the inaction seriously undermined the possibility of a positive outcome. The city manager declined our request for an interview, and police have not released the 911 call in question here.